So I'm here in, uh, in La Paz, um, the amazing city of La Paz, with Vite um, from IICD. Right. Um, Vite, you're um, running today's workshop here in Bolivia with all of the Connect for Change partners. Yes. So tell me what you're doing. We're organizing a workshop about social innovation, which is a very complex term. And basically we've got two blocks of activities. The first one dealing with the process in 2011. What have we done? What have we done well? What have we done wrong? And what might we do differently next time? And the second block dealing with uh, uh, competencies and capabilities of our project partners. Great. So um, how many project partners do you have here? Roughly, there are 22 participants from 15 projects. We've got 15 projects uh, formulated so far. Uh, they're from two different sectors, uh, economic development and education. Yeah. So I, I noticed when you were introducing things, you, you talked about the concept of the World Cafe. Yes. Um, we like the World Cafe because we think it's informal and it gives everybody a chance to speak out. It works in this way that we've set up uh, a number of small tables with four five people around it and a big sheet of white paper in between them and uh, after let's say 20 or 30 minutes everybody can change from one table to another and then engage in a totally new discussion yeah. the only stable factor is the host so there's one appointed person per table who stays at that table during the whole uh, the whole block of uh, sessions and is sort of the stabilizing factor that then reports about the whole discussion that's been going on for an hour. So, so you've got a lot of experience of doing these kind of things in I've Africa. I've done it only twice before. Oh really? Okay. Yes. Well, what, what, what kind of things do you expect to come out of this? Um, I hope that we'll get more insights in what we've been doing wrongly. It's a new consortium. Uh, all the consortium partners have to get used to each other. And some things we had to find out along the way. So maybe... I think, I like to think myself that there's a lot of uh, room for improvement and I hope to hear about that. Yeah. So, I mean, you've, you've, we were talking the other day, you've worked in, in Latin America for a few years now, and you yes. before that in Africa on development. Yes. Yes. What are the kind of things that tend to go wrong with development projects of this nature? Or to look out for, that people have yes. to look out for? It's very hard to systematize. Um, but I would say examples. that uh, very often, in my view, uh, projects are too ambitious. Um, they want to change the world with uh, uh, 30,000 euros and that's not uh, possible. So I think what's going wrong very often is that if you set your targets too highly, you get disappointed when you can't totally meet with them. Yeah. Great, well, good, good to meet you yeah. and, and I hope the workshop yeah. goes well today. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks. Yes.